the project life cycle. The project life cycle is the period from the start of the project to the end of it. It is typically made up of five stages, namely the initiation stage, planning, implementation, monitoring and control, and closing. During your initiation, what you want to ensure is that your project is set up. You want to mobilize your teams. And as part of that mobilization, it's essential you get the right people who can help you deliver. You want to be clear on your objectives and deliverables. You want to determine those and then also run what we call a kickoff meeting. During this kickoff meeting, which is that meeting that formally gets your project started, you want to ensure everyone is aligned around the project's purpose, the objectives you want to achieve. You want to ensure unity of focus. You want to ensure unity of purpose, foster collaboration. Make sure it is clear to everyone who is doing what in terms of the roles and responsibility as uh, and responsibilities as well as your project organization. You want to call out clearly your high level timelines, things as they are raised. You want to be sure that everyone gets what what you're trying to achieve on that project. Once this is done, one of the other key outputs within your project initiation phase or stage is your project initiation document. In this stage, you want to de develop that project initiation document, acronym PID. This PID brings together the information needed to start the project on a sound basis, conveying this information to all concerned once approved by your project board or a named or agreed senior stakeholder. It could also be your project team who will review and agree that PID and ensure it is baseline. That PID is an approach document and as a document that sets uh, the tone for you progressing your project as an approach document, it allows you really progress your project to a sound basis. The next stage is your planning. It is important to say, though it almost feels like these things happen uh, sequentially, there are aspects that almost run concurrently sometimes, depending on how you position your project. But in your planning, call this a preparatory phase. You have agreed a PID. You have kicked off your meeting, your project. Now you want to get all your subject matter experts, your technical practitioners around the table. You want to ensure it is clear sometimes via a feasibility report or study that you must carry out that this project is actually doable. Hence the need sometimes for a feasibility as part of your planning. In fact, the planning stage is also called sometimes depending on organization, a feasibility stage. You want to deliver your project plan in this, in this stage. And that project plan will clearly outline your work breakdown structure, your cost breakdown structure, your resource breakdown structure. This actually gives you instructions, near accurate instruction to sort of refine a business case. You build a business case around this granular level of detail, refined information, near accurate, that actually gives you core direction and focus around where you're going with this project with a clear justification and clear information around the benefits and the costs. In this planning phase, as a preparatory phase, you want to also ensure if there's any procurement, core procurement endeavor, including engaging the service of a supplier or consultancies, et cetera, you want to onboard so, such people. You want to ensure your resources are in place upfront before you progress implementation. Once you now move past this planning phase, the next key phase is your implementation. During this stage of phase, what you want to ensure happens is that that delivery plan you had at your planning phase is actually now being implemented to deliver all the outputs and deliverables and overall projects products. The next stage, very important for all project delivery is the monitoring and control. 
Here you want to monitor progress, you want to control to mitigate risk, address issues and change and monitor change or manage change. You want to manage your budget, your project finance and report against this, provide reporting into a PMO or a project board to a frequency that has been agreed. You want to just ensure anything that could jeopardize your project delivery is nipped in the bud with accurate mitigations to ensure you protect your project. Now, the monitoring and control, even though it looks like a phase or stage that is after implementation, pretty much happens throughout your project to sort of ensure you keep monitoring progress, you anticipate risk, manage issues, and keep your projects on track. The closing stage is the final stage in the project life cycle. This is indicative of the fact that we are now at a point where we have pretty much completed project delivery. The users have accepted the final outputs of this particular project. You can celebrate success. You can learn lessons. In this stage, a final report is prepared called a project closure report. Also in this phase, you want to have a project end meeting. In the project end meeting, one of the things you want to ensure is that you walk through and review objectives to see that you have achieved them, how you have performed against time, how you have performed against your budget, how you have performed against the quality of expectations, or any other outlined objectives or critical success factors that you have set for your project. So in this one glance and one view, you have just seen the project life cycle. Just to summarize, the project life cycle is the period from the start of the project to the end of it, typically made up of five stages. In the initiation stage, you want to sort of ensure you kick off your project to a sound basis. In the planning, you want to prepare, make sure you're clear on what work must be done, what the cost that must be incurred will look like, and what resources will be required to deliver your project. And then in the implementation, phase or stage, you pretty much get your hands dirty. And then guess what? In monitoring and control, you want to nip everything in the bud that could jeopardize your project delivery and make sure you keep your project on track. And in closing, you want to go, yeah, and celebrate success and close your project with a decent project closure report with and lessons learned for other projects to learn from. And that is it with the project life cycle. If you want more from Ostrotech, feel free to contact us. Thank you.